Hi guys, Lisa here. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna have some fun. I have been scrolling through TikTok and I found all kinds of TikTok viral home hacks that I wanted to try with you today and see if they really work. So make sure to stay till the end of the video where I will have a bonus hack for you. So I've got everything ready. So come along with me. Let's try these TikTok home hacks and see if they really work. For this hack, you'll need some baby wipes and some rubber bands. So according to TikTok, if you place a rubber band on each side of the opening of the baby wipes, just like I'm doing here, you will be able to grab a wipe one-handed while you're changing the baby's diaper and not have to use two hands to grab the wipes out or keep the wipes from moving around. So I was really anxious to see if this would work because sometimes when you use these packets like this, you can struggle to get the wipes out. So here we go. I've got the rubber bands placed on each side and I'm gonna go ahead and try and see if the wipes come out easier. It doesn't seem like this is working or making any difference whatsoever. I am actually struggling to get the wipes out one-handed. It seems like the rubber bands are actually making it worse. And as I'm removing the rubber bands, you can see here that they're actually coming out easier. Now these don't have like continuous wipes. So you only get one at a time when you're pulling them out. I just don't see what benefit the rubber bands are doing. If you guys have seen this TikTok, I wasn't able to save it to put it here for you guys to see it. But if you guys have seen the TikTok I'm talking about, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you guys have tried this and if it worked for you. Now on to the next hack. For this hack, we're gonna use Dollar Tree's towel bar. And then I'm also gonna use these double-sided sticky pads here because I had to do a little bit of an adjustment compared to the original TikTok video because my cabinets are a lot thinner than the one that I saw in the viral TikTok video, but we're gonna go ahead and create a paper towel holder, super convenient, that kind of hangs off of your cabinets. So as you could see, I pulled the towel bar apart, I stuck the paper towels on it and put them back together, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and put these double-sided little sticky pads on the back side here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hang it off of my cabinet here. And this is a budget-friendly way to get those paper towels off of your countertops and out of the way without spending a bunch of money on a paper towel holder, and it seems to be working pretty well, as you can see here. I definitely give this viral hack a thumbs up. This hack is supposed to help keep those awful toothpaste blobs off of your countertops. Grab yourself one of these Dollar Tree soap pumps and some tubes of your favorite toothpaste. And you're just gonna empty the tubes into this soap pump. Now I've got some mouthwash here just in case the toothpaste is too thick to come through the pump. This toothpaste seems to be not very thick. I think it will probably work without the mouthwash, but if you do find it too thick, you can throw in a little mouthwash to make it a little bit thinner. You're gonna go ahead and replace the pump, and then you've got an easy toothpaste dispensing system that literally costs you just a few dollars. I think this would be fun for the kids and also fun for mom because we'll have less toothpaste blobs to be scrubbing off of our bathroom counters. For this hack, you're gonna to wanna to grab yourself some bathroom cleaner. I grabbed this awesome orange cleaner from my Dollar Tree and grab one of these dish soap scrub brushes. I grabbed this one from my Dollar Tree. Go ahead and fill it up with your bathroom cleaner and then toss that baby in the shower and you can easily keep your shower and bathtub clean while you're using it. For the next hack, grab some Dollar Tree shower rings and then clip it onto one of your hangers just like I'm doing here and it allows you to hang another item of clothing 
right in front of it on the shower ring like this, which can save you so much room in your closet. You could even add another ring to the second garment to create even more room. I love this idea. It's so easy and so inexpensive for closet organization. For this next hack, grab a carton that has one of the twist off caps and you're gonna cut out the top of the carton like I'm doing here. Next, grab a mason jar lid insert like this here and then you're going to use this to trace a circle around the twist off cap opening. Once you've drawn the circle and it does not need to be perfect guys, you're gonna go ahead and cut out around the line or the circle that you drew. Once you get it cut out, place it in the ring and put it on the jar. And you can use this for homemade salad dressings, homemade anything, all kinds of things. It just makes a nice spout for your mason jar. I just think this is such a clever and inexpensive hack. And you're also reusing something that you would typically be throwing away. So I just really love this and can't wait to try it. For this next hack, you're gonna wanna grab some Dollar Tree slime like I'm showing you here. This stuff is ooey gooey and oh so fun to play with, but we're gonna use it for something else today. This stuff works great to clean out all of those hard to reach places in your vehicle. I'm using it here in the center area where there are all of these like openings and the cup holders and little crumbs and little pieces of dust are always accumulating there. This stuff works great for that. You can also use it on your air vents and it's just so cheap that if you just use it once and toss it, it really isn't a huge expense. I think this is a great little hack that that everyone has to try. For this next hack, grab some of these acrylic frames from your Dollar Tree and some of their balloon glue dots. What I'm gonna be doing here is placing the frames this way in my drawer here, and I'm gonna use the glue dots on the back of the frame to keep them in place. So as you can see, I'm flipping them upside down or flipping them backwards and placing them in the drawer with the lip sticking out like this. You can kind of see how I'm placing all of these like this. What I'm gonna be doing is putting my spices in here. So right now my spices are in a cabinet and they are an utter mess. And this is just a great way to do some spice organization without spending a lot of money. So now you've got a close up to see how the drawer came out. Now obviously everybody's drawers are different sizes, so you would have to account for that and figure out how many of these frames you would need for how many spices you have and how large your drawer is. So this seems to be working for me at the moment. So now I'm gonna grab my spices and go ahead and start putting them in the drawer to see how this all works out. When I saw this idea on TikTok, I was blown away. I thought this was such a great budget-friendly way to organize your spices. You guys, you could also organize medicine with this. It's not just limited to spices. And keep in mind, you'll have to take in account the size of your spice bottles. I kind of tried this out without putting the glue dots on the back to see how this was all gonna kind of work with my spice bottles. So the ones on the sides, I will be putting the smaller bottles in. You just gotta kind of play with it. So before you put the glue dots on the back, I would definitely suggest putting the, flame, the frames in your drawer, kind of moving them around, measuring them, against what you're going to be storing in the drawer. This was really easy to do and just so cost effective. I would definitely recommend this hack if you're looking to organize your spices in a drawer or medication or something along those lines. I definitely think this is worth a try. And again, just so budget friendly. Okay, for this hack, I grabbed one of these Hot Wheels storage boxes in the toy section of my Dollar Tree. When you open it up, you can see it has all of these little sections where you would put the little Hot Wheels cars, but I'm going to use it for organizational purposes. 
I'm going to be using it for all of my phone chargers so I can keep everything together and I'm not looking for the cords or the little plug-in sections. I, I don't know what those are called, you guys, but you know what I'm talking about, these things right here. I have some for my iPad, some for my iPhone, different sizes, different cables, and I just think these boxes would be great to keep all of this together. You could use more than one box. If you have a lot more than will fit in one of these, just get another one. They're only $1.25, and I think this is just such a great little hack and idea, and then you can label each box and keep everything together and know where everything is is when you need it. This next hack is along the same lines, but you're gonna grab one of these hardware storage cases in the hardware section of your Dollar Tree. I am going to use this box for all of these little office supply type items like push pins, tacks, paper clips, and rubber bands. This little box right here will keep all of this stuff together and in one spot so it's not sliding around in drawers. I can go ahead and label this. You could even use it just for batteries. It would work great for that. But I have all of these items that have just been rolling around in my drawer and I think this is so perfect for all of these items. Again, you can label it and keep everything together in one spot. Okay, for this hack, you're gonna to wanna to get some distilled white vinegar and some regular table salt. You can use any type of salt really, but just get yourself some salt as well. What you're gonna to wanna to do is put the salt all over one of your wooden cutting boards and then add some of the white vinegar to create almost like a little bit of a paste. And you're gonna go ahead and scrub your cutting board. And this is going to get deep inside all of the little crevices in the wood. It's going to kill a lot of the bacteria and sanitize your cutting board. Then you can give it a good rinse in some warm water, dry it, let it dry completely, and then add your food grade mineral oil to the board when you're done. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I had so much fun going through all of these TikTok hacks with you guys. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to leave me a like on your way out and subscribe if you're interested in this type of content. I put out videos every week, Dollar Tree, budget-friendly content home hacks, all kinds of stuff like that. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love to have you join the family and hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Looking at me so cold Get over yourself, are you for real?